Okay, so today we are talking about Iowa State income taxes. We set it up by showing uh, the brackets now, currently nine brackets, highest one at about eight and, a, eight and a half. But Governor Reynolds recently signed some big reform. Lauren, the reform was the, the biggest change to the Iowa tax law in, in quite some time. It is one of the biggest pieces of legislation according to the, that has to do with the Iowa tax code in, in decades. And really there's two main segments of this tax law change. One focuses on retirees or people who are 55 and older, and the other still pertains to those who are earning a, a wage. And so from a retiree standpoint, it, retirement income, so your pension income, uh, distributions from your 401k plans or IRAs, Roth conversions, all of that type of income, if you're 55 or older, will be tax-free starting January 1st of 2023. Okay, so this doesn't happen right away, all of it. Some of it does. We'll get to the retirement income part first. But Sean, you're gonna show us kind of how this progressively, we work to this flat tax rate that Governor uh, Reynolds signed into law. Yeah, these changes are really gonna simplify the picture. We, Lauren, you talked earlier about the nine brackets that we have today, the number of different tax rates that are in effect with those nine brackets. And over the next couple of years, we're gonna see a lot of simplicity, which is always great to see. We know taxes are not easy to do. That's why we pay professionals, you know, CPAs and tax preparers to do that. So we're gonna be looking forward to this. This is really gonna be a good thing, you know, for the state of Iowa, a great thing for retirees and all of us that are earning income in Iowa. So there's gonna be a phased approach. So starting with 2023 through the year 2026, and when we get to that point, that's when all these changes will be implemented. So currently we talked about nine brackets, that top rate, of 8.53 starting next year we're going to see a lot of simplicity already we're going to be going down to four tax brackets that top tax rate is going to be coming down to an even six percent one year later 2024 down to three tax brackets with that top rate being 5.7 percent we keep going through that phased approach 2025 we're going to be down to two tax brackets with that top rate of 4.82 and then we hit that magical year of 2026 when these changes will be fully enacted. We're gonna have a flat tax rate, obviously only one tax rate, and that rate is gonna be at that 3.9%. So really something we're all really looking forward to. Who doesn't wanna pay less in taxes? Get to keep more of your hard-earned income in your bank account, and you get to make those spending decisions on those dollars. Well, I have to say though, this is politics, right? Taxes and politics are uh, coinciding. So not everybody loves this, of course, some opposition to this. Um, some people wondering how will we fund some of the things that, that states are obligated to pay for. But again, from an income earner's tax point, you kind of like the idea of paying less, but we should note that not everyone loved the legislation that Governor Reynolds passed. Yeah, that's exactly right, because it's not gonna, it's not gonna enhance everybody's income in the same way. There's gonna be some who, it's a very marginal difference. There's gonna be some, it's a bigger difference. Whenever you change a progressive tax system, them, that's that's the impact that it's going to have it's going to have a different positive impact on everybody but the vast majority of Iowans will at least save some money uh, due to the tax change and as Sean as you alluded to the simplicity is something that is probably appealing to many people as well I mean we're going from nine tax brackets to four three two and then eventually one across the board tax rate for earned income of 3.9 percent so uh, even if it's not going to save you a bundle in iowa state income tax the simplicity is kind of nice okay so what you guys do every day though is sit down with individuals and families and talk about retirement planning whether they're still working or maybe in retirement they're looking at all of the pieces of the puzzle so there's a piece of this that's definitely I know you've had a lot of conversations about and it's the retirement income piece you kind of alluded to but what exactly happens with retirement income with the retirement income it's with the and, and by the way you can be working and still have retirement income and have that retirement income tax-free basically what it means is if you're 55 age 55 or older and you take distributions from IRAs, 401k plans, pension income, then that income will not be taxed at the state level. So even if you're 60 years old and you work part-time or full-time, have an earned wage, but you are receiving a pension or you are taking a distribution or you're doing a Roth conversion to take advantage of some of the lower federal tax rates, all of that income at the state level will be tax-free. And that's a great point to clarify, Lauren, just because with some of the conversations we're already having with the families that we work with, new individuals that we're meeting, it's easy to kind of confuse that income tax rate with retirement income and what that looks like. Because as you mentioned, effective next year, 2023, that's when the retirement income tax-free 
whereas we just talked about that gradual change, that phase in to the income tax rate. So it's just important to, me to know that the retirement income versus the earned income sources and what that means and looks like within your picture. And really at this point in time, that probably is where most of the confusion is. And the conversations that we're having, I mean, we're engaged in, in a lot of tax planning and one of the most effective tax planning strategies for people is to do a Roth conversion. So as we're talking about the changes of the IRS, people are saying, well, wait a minute, isn't that phased in? And when, when does that get phased into uh, 2026? And we're like, no, actually this retirement income tax law change starts next year. And so we can wait and do a Roth conversion, not do it this year if it makes sense, uh, because that way you won't pay the Iowa state tax and we can do it next year and not pay any state tax on that Roth conversion. That's all a part of the equation, but it is, it's, uh, we, we need to keep those two, two parts of the laws separate so we have a good working understanding of how they're going to apply to you to make sure we're implementing the right strategies at the right time. Thank you for watching this clip of Retiring Today and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions about your retirement plan, take advantage of the complimentary 15-minute retirement checkup phone call.